Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from that giant telescope, there, we've today come to Jodrell Bank. So for all you astronomers, astronomers, difficult to say that, isn't it? And scientists buffs, we're gonna have a look around Jodrell Bank and see what it has to offer. Apart from a giant satellite dish. Can we get sky? Well, we can get sky all right. On the way in, it says that the telescope can actually pick up a telephone signal from Mars. Now, I didn't know people had telephones on Mars, but there you go. Right, let's go in and explore. Jodrell Bank, look up. So, I will comply. Just a lot of grey sky. Have been before. It's a nice place to visit. There's various educational seminars in the place. Uh, they've got big view rooms with screens. Explain to you all about Jodrell Bank, what it does, why it's here. You all know it's the Lovell Telescope. That is tree. Very, very peaceful surroundings. An array of flags? Oh, yeah. We're doing that area back there last time we came. Yeah. Okay. In we go. Follow the footpaths. Fire assembly point is by that post. One lovely lady on reception there. Taking your, your pennies. Picnicking area good. So we'll read these signs, see what information we can gather from those. Astronomy Photographer of the Year is the world's leading astrophotography competition. It looks like it's done here. The judging panel is made up of experts across the fields of astronomy, photography, art and science. And there's various people involved. And here That's an awesome photograph. Wow. The Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights, I think. Aurora runner up. Thomas Cass from Finland. Do you know, one day I'm going to have to go and see the Northern Lights. I've got to go and see these. Ah, oh, it just looks phenomenal. So if you have been to see them, you're a lucky person. Wow. I'm not to invest in a really good camera. Oh, look at these pictures, they're just stunning, man. Well, that's a long focus shot. The Waterway Canal near Rotterdam. 
Yeah. There's a huge dome over there. That wasn't here last time we came. I think that's um, that's pretty new, and they have like displays or talks in there. There's not one going on at the moment, so we're going to have a look. Yep, last time we came here, this didn't exist. It does now. Yeah, it is. That's not concrete. Automatic doors, which don't open, telling us in no uncertain terms, it's shut. Absolute shame. What we going in there then? What a shame. Still, a nice walkway into it. it. Looks like a some sort of bunker. <laughs> Have they spotted something up there? They're not telling us about. <laughs> We're all going to disappear into this. I'm going to try another entrance. I should imagine it's the same as this. We've actually come round to the other side and the door's exactly the same as the one over there. This one, however, is open. Wow, there's a hell of a draft come through there. Well, I'll keep the camera away from this lot. My children in, so I won't be filming them. Nice construction, though. Hello there. <laughs> You can see the very, very excited kids. And here we go, a little bit of information. Imperfect account of a comet. There's a school trip here. <laughs> Audio visual installation by Linda Laird celebrating the celestial discoveries of the 18th century astronomer Caroline Herschel. That name rings a bell. Lunch. You here for the space dome? Oh, right. Okay. God, weird structure. It looks like the home of a James Bond buddy. <laughs> Let's get past. Can I get past? Get past all these kids now, so I can turn the camera back on. Okay. Now we're here, if it comes out with the camera, it may not. This was the construction of Jodrell Bank. All those years ago, on the construction of this dome I'm currently stood in. Quasars, pulsars. Mm. There you go, that's where I am now, inside that. Right next to the level telescope. So, you can find out all about Doddle Bank inside this dome. There we go. The story of Doddle Bank. I'm going to go in, turn the camera off, there's a lot of people around, and see what we can see. As you can see, this place is full of extremely interesting information about Dodrell Bank and Bernard Lovell himself, who studied meteors when he first came to Dodrell Bank in 1945. There's plenty to see, educational videos. So it's an extremely fascinating place to come and see. Spotting meteors at night. Lovell becoming an astronomer. So you can sit down comfortably. In your seats. And listen and watch and learn. Engineering the telescope. Oh, I don't know. It should be easy about the same problem as throwing a swing bridge over the Thames at Westminster. <laughs> Good grief, man. 
There's a little, very, very scaled down model of the Lovell telescope. Incredible. And there's Lovell and Charles' husband in front of the nearly complete telescope. All the information you could wish for in this rather beautiful construction. Great place to bring your kids. To show an interest in astronomy. Telescope logbook. This is pretty fantastic, it really is. Analog computer display, good grief. Look at that. A section of display rack from the analog computers that originally controlled the telescope. Heavens above. So much to learn, so much to see and enjoy. seating areas. Even a coat hanger. Right, I'm going to go back outside. There's a few people here. Mm. Quite amazing. Quite amazing indeed. Well worth a visit, Jodrell Bank. Well worth a visit. Now here's something of extreme interest to me, being a reptile lover. Some snakes, such as vipers, boas and pythons, have evolved to see in the dark. A special sensor in their head, called a pit organ, detects heat radiating at infrared wavelengths. This allows them to hunt warm blood animals at night. And here we have the head of a snake. But here, it shows you how it sees. at night time so you can see any warm blooded creature quite clearly night time hunting I didn't know that about snakes and I've been studying snakes for years and years and years because I love reptiles so that is astonishing when the Second World War started, Lowell was called up to become a military scientist. He worked on the new technology of radar. The radar system Lowell developed was called H2S and was intended to guide Allied nighttime bombing raids. Radar was decisive in wartime but was also the springboard to new science after the war. And I've just read somewhere else that uh, when the Lowell telescope it wasn't even complete. It was the only telescope on the planet that could detect Russia's Sputnik spacecraft. Now that was extremely educational, interesting. I learned an awful more, 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 lot more, lot more about Lovell and husband, the astronomer and scientists. He designed this telescope and I was used in the war. There's actually there's some interactive games in there. And I just went on one where using radar you could pinpoint 
cargo ships and U-boats, and you can destroy the U-boats. And I destroyed quite a few U-boats, so it's been a really worthwhile day. But uh, yeah, the Russians actually tried to to capture our level and tried to get him to defect to Russia, obviously for his incredible knowledge of radio telescope, his ability to build. And they say when he was released, he wanted to come back to England. And they were bothered that they may have poisoned him or given him something to try and erase his memory because of what he'd seen in Russia. Now, I don't know the truth and fact behind that, but I've just read a little snippet and that's what I could gather from it. So, yeah, fascinating place. Now I'm going to make my way over to the telescope itself and film that. I've got to be careful because there's an awful lot of school children around on school trips out. I wonder how many of those will turn out to be scientists. Let's hope at least some of them do. Let's head towards the telescope. These are the whispering dishes. There's one over there. And if someone stands in that one over there and whispers through that hoop, you can hear it as clear as a telephone from one side to this side. But this is not a double telescope. That is. Magnificent feats of British engineering at its finest. Awesome in its construction. Very seldom it moves, but I have been here before when it has moved slightly. You see all the uh, like casters that it's on, so it does go round, and of course it also tilts. There's the operating places up there, and at the base here. So that's quite a magnificent thing to see. I just wish you could get beyond this fence. But look at that. Okay. A lot of kids here, as you can hear. Quite remarkable. Anyway, and with that, that concludes my tour of Jodrell Bank. I'm not sure how much it is to actually gain entry to the place because Les paid. I don't think it's a great deal, and you'll learn a great deal. This has been a fascinating experience. I've learned an awful lot more today than I did when I first ever came to Jodrell Bank and it really is fascinating as you can see there's lots of kids on school trips here hopefully educate them to becoming better people okay this is Macman signing off hope you enjoyed that video and tour if you did give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do and I'll see you next time around about adios